What's up, guys? It's your boy Corey with Inspect the Gadget, and today we're going to inspect Google Search and Google Now. Now, Google Now and the upgraded Google Search are great additions to the Android OS. Although Apple's Siri does do some things better than Google Search, with Google Now, Android has managed to outdo Siri by simply doing something it can't predicting what information you'll need and when you'll need it. Google Now uses your search history and location data to do just that, presenting you with information you need in the form of cards on the screen. Here are some of the things you can do with Google Now and Google Search. Let's get inspecting. Now you can get to Google Now by sliding from the bottom of the screen like this up to the word Google. Once inside, you say the code word Google and ask your question. Google. What's the weather like today? The forecast for Stone Mountain today is 99 degrees with a chance of storm. Now Google Now will automatically learn your schedule and present you with the weather as well as traffic conditions and alternate routes to work. Google Now will even tell you what buses or trains are next when you're near a bus stop or a subway station. Google Delta Airlines Flight 2073 Delta Airlines 2073 from Atlanta to Miami is on time and departs in 9 hours 14 minutes. Google. G-O-O-G. -O -O Google closed up 0.07% at 607 US dollars and 99 cents. Google. Set a timer for five minutes. Setting alarm. Google. Where is the nearest cheesecake factory? Getting directions. So I don't know if you guys can see this, but Google now has gone ahead and uh, pulled up the cheesecake factory uh, in my card since we searched for the cheesecake factory. So now anytime I want to go, it's, it already has the card here saying that, hey, there's, it's 26 minutes to the cheesecake factory from my house. And it already has a route plotted and planned out for me. So I could just click navigate and we're on our way. Now, Google Now also does this when you're away from home. It'll actually show you how far away you are from home and how many minutes it's going to take for you to get back home and have a route plotted just, just as it does here. Also, with Google Now, whenever there's new cards available for anything that's going on around you or related to you, it shows up here in your taskbar. So here there's a picture of a car and it shows that uh, what the traffic to the Cheesecake Factory is like. Uh, th there's a zero minute delay here. Google. Are there any Thai restaurants nearby? So it shows results for all the Thai restaurants near me. Pretty awesome. Now, when you're on the go, Google Now will suggest places of interest and you can jump to Google Maps to get reviews and make reservations. Also, when you're in another time zone, Google Now will show you the time at home and if you're out of the country, Google Now will show you the local conversion rate. When you have an appointment, Google Now will check traffic so you'll know how long it'll take to get there and will even give you a notification for when you should leave. Google. Send an email to Tamika Thompson that I'm going to be late for lunch. So it pulls up Tamika Thompson from my address book. It even pulls up a picture of her and it says I'm going to be late for lunch <laughs> and I can uh, tap right here to send email. And of course you can do the same with text messages as well. Google. Who won the Marlins game yesterday? Marlins lost to the Braves 7 to 1. Google Now will keep you updated on your favorite sports teams in real time and also give you live scores in upcoming games. Google. How tall is LeBron James? 
LeBron James is six feet eight inches tall. Awesome, and it pulls up a picture of LeBron James here. Now you can also use search to pull up pictures of some of the most random things. <laughs> Google. Show me pictures of the duck-billed platypus. And it pulls up pictures of duck-billed platypus. <laughs> or platypi. Google. Remind me to do the jelly bean review in one hour. Setting alarm. And it says, do the jelly bean review. Now in jelly bean, voice dictation and speech recognition is available offline. So let's show you uh, some of the voice transcription. The quick brown fox runs fast, comma, but slow and steady wins the race, period. Is anti-disestablishmentarianism the longest word in the dictionary? Question mark. And guys, it got it perfectly. I don't know if you guys could see that, but everything I said, even anti-disestablishmentarianism, uh, is spelled out. Well, that's it for now. <laughs> no pun intended. Hit us up on Twitter and Google Plus at Inspect the Gadget. Subscribe and like this video. And as always, I'm Coy for Inspect the Gadget, and I will see you on the other side.